Hey everybody, I am Coffee and Chaos, and welcome back to Satisfactory. So between episodes, I actually let things go for about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, and uh, let them kind of run. So hopefully we should have a few things that we can play with. Um, I did end up refueling our power system. And yeah, we got some rods. Burn through another hundred things of fuel. How are we doing on concrete? Oh, yeah. Almost 500. So, plenty of stuff that we can start expanding the base. And what about fuel? Let's take a quick peek at that. I think I want to work on the next step of our fuel system. Yeah. Alright, let's do that now. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Delete you. And that should all go... Yeah, that filled up my pockets as it was. Um, so. Put that there. And we're going to start automating our solid biofuel. And we're going to grab you. Move you to about there. Plug that in. And need a storage container. Now the question is, how do I want to turn this? Oh, you're joking. Well, I guess it's a good thing I did this now. First little bits of solid biofuel. So I guess what we're gonna need is power, power, power. We're gonna need another biomass burner. Um, yeah, this isn't gonna be the final location, but we'll we'll start with this. I'll throw you in there. We'll attach that. There we go. We're back in business. So each of these is another 30 megawatts. How much do these run? Just curious. 20 megawatts. So these are also biomass burners, but they're a little less efficient. But... We throw some wood in there. Throw some leaves in here. Skip up over the top of the constructors in the most dangerous way possible. And toss some biomass here. You know, I probably did that wrong. I probably should have just taken the biomass and left it in a container and then looped it back around into a constructor and into another container. Because now I've got a whole bunch of biomass that I can't do anything with unless I go ahead and handcraft it. Which, you know, for right now... I think I will do that. And while that's going on, we'll discuss our plans. So, first things first, I'd like to go ahead and deconstruct our current iron setup. I would like to take our platforms and build them out towards where the iron is. Um, and start automating that system with a little bit larger scale in mind. We'll be able to have four miners there. And we'll be able to tap into the miners that are up onto the cliff as well. I don't know if we'll do that this episode, but that's definitely on the horizon. Um, so the end goal is going to be 60... Well, I guess we're going to only be making... What is it? It's three iron ingots to two plates, so... We'll be making 40 iron plates a minute. It might be worth tapping into at least one more mine. Uh, what else can we do? Basic products. Uh, we also want to automate screws. That would be good. And it would be good to automate... What in the world was that? Um, it could be automate some... Well, we got our bi biofuel done, so we can go ahead and take that off the list. 
Boop. Make that two. Oops, there we go. Cool. Uh, maybe, just maybe, we could get the space elevator on this episode. That would be a good thing to do. Uh, I think I will go ahead and stop that there. Take a break from that for a little bit. So, let's get everything in line here. We're going to grab it all and just kill it. Die! Okay. Oh, we're actually completely full. Uh, wouldn't hurt to have a chest. A little personal storage box here. Let's throw the ore in there. Let's throw... Throw that in there. Yeah, that'll work. What else we got? A little bit more ore. Some ore and a miner. Cool. Um, I think I'd like to go up here. Oh, I can delete you as well. And you're clipping through. Oh, you're actually providing power to all that. Cool. So, let's see how far we need to take these. Maybe, like, one more tile? Two more tiles? If I put my miner here... Yeah, eventually I plan on having kind of a wall here. And we could actually have the wall that has little cutouts to move these... Uh, the belts through. So that would be a start. What else? If we were to plan on having all of our iron here, like our belts and whatnot, I think one tile in, starting here, we could go ahead and start building our uh, smelters and constructors, all that kind of stuff. So where do I want to put it? Let's see. Let's do smelters here. Uh... Yeah, I think that's about right. And put those in line with each other. Alright, got four of those. Now these two... Let's see, you're going to use 30 per minute. You're making 30 per minute, so... One line to each... What is it? Like, one-to-one -one ratio. Not sure how to English that properly, but... For now, that will be acceptable. That works. Put one there. Put one there. Because I know I'm going to want to hook up the other miners and get them over here. I'm going to go ahead and grab you. And let's go out there and clear this. I'm not going to overthink the uh, outlying belts that we're going to set up here. I'm just going to get them plugged in. We can always make it better in the future. Nice. Uh, and the other thing we want to do... Get a power line out here. Connected there. Get a power line out here. Connected to you. Connected to you. Cool. 
And I'm going to connect this up here. And we're going to try and make a nice, efficient power system. Make sure everything can connect. All right. That's a good start. Um, you are going to connect to you. And you are going to connect to you. So all of that is turning on. And uh, control C. Ah, okay. That's how you do it. I knew control, like copy pasting was a thing. I just wasn't sure how to do it yet. So you have to be close enough that you can actually configure it. And it's control V. Can you just come up to it and... Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, all of our iron is on the way. These are also impure, impure, and impure. Okay. So, they're all going to be 30 per minute. So, that's our first row of smelters. Um, you know what? While we're at it... One... Two... Three... Four. Because we've got two nodes that are up there, and we've got the two nodes that are over here. Um, bum, 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 bum. I think I'm gonna go ahead and run two or three more foundations over here. And how far this way do I want to go? Maybe one more? Yeah, that works. What? 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 Oh, are you serious? I'm sorry. We can't keep you. There you go. You're in the way. We can't have progress when we have a lizard dodo in the way of all of our construction. Can't afford. Oh no, we need uh, concrete. But, good thing is, we've been letting things run for a while, so hopefully we should have enough to go ahead and complete that platform. That should do it. Look at all that lovely pollution. Oh, yes, we're starting to get it going now. Uh, I'd like to get... Let's see. I've got conveyor poles, but I don't have the stackable ones yet. Let's run over here and see if that's something that we can unlock next. Just for organization's sake. Part assembly... Resource sink, logistics. Ah, logistics mark two. Okay. That's going to need a lot of reinforced iron plates. Here. Yeah. Which is something that we're going to need to get into anyways. So we'll probably want the assembler first. That way we can make our smart plating for the elevator. We can make modular frames. We could use rotors. Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to need that for all kinds of things. So, we'll select that milestone, but we're not going to work on that just yet. Oh, no, no, no. We need constructors. Oh, speaking of... I'm going to grab this. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Oh, no. We don't have a whole lot left.
trying to think here. Okay, so two of you... Merge. Alright, so that's going to be perfect throughput. That's going to be one full tier one belt. But we're now going to need multiple constructors. We need reinforced iron plates. Let's go. In fact, we're going to need a bunch. Well, I guess it's a good thing we're automating our iron rods now. Um, the other thing we're going to need is we're running low on cables, so let's go ahead and start getting that going again. I'm sure I've got a lot of wire over there. Uh-oh. Looks like we're out of juice. Throw that in there. And we still have some wire. I'll probably throw about 500 in here. Just throw one full stack, let it turn into some copper cable. Is it? There we go. That's 500. Cool. Ooh, yeah, because we don't have any there. Uh, next thing that we could work on. Well, first things first, what I could do is take all these extra stacks of iron that I have, and toss them into the smelters, and let them roll. here. You're going to make iron rods. So it's 15 to 15, so that means we're going to need four of these in total. Damn it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make the wire, or the cable. Wire. Cable. Right. <clears throat> One day, I might, just might, figure out what the names are. Mm, that should be enough. Next thing is going to be splitters. No, wrong way. Let's do that one more time. Because it's going to come from here. There we go. Got it. You're going to come out of there.
All right. Whoops. And you are going to be rods. Uh, copy. Paste. 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 Um, that's the other thing I'm going to need. Let's get our power going. get rid of that power line crossing there. Gonna shut things down for a second, but this will help to clean things up if I do it right. There we go. So much cleaner. What? What? Huh. Okay. Oh, I know what happened. Aha! All right, our max consumption is up to 89. So we will need to get some more power started soon. <clears throat> but for now... Ooh, that's very pleasing. tile. Is that about right? Yeah. We're gonna need a merger. Make sure I get this centered. There go the rods. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, losing my voice a little bit there. Now, 60 rods per minute from that. You know what I need right now? I need me a lookout tower. I think I'm going to put it like that. What the hell is... Oh, jeez. Ah, <laughs> that actually made me jump. Oh, that actually might have been him making that noise. What are you doing in my base? I thought I scared you off earlier. Okay, bird's eye view. You know what? Screw you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. Did that just bounce me? Wait, is is that a thing? Or was that a weird bug? I just... <laughs> I was just planning on landing on top of him and zapping him. Okay. Um, alright, so... <laughs> that little distraction aside... We need to make plates. Um, obviously, I think that this is going to need to be moved, and where I think I'd like to put it is up there somewhere. But for now... Oh, actually, that'd be great, because we could have power and uh, this little manufacturing setup, which... It's not that big. It only needs, what, one, two, three, four, five, six or seven tiles long? Maybe a little bit more. I could actually kind of loop it back around into itself, so I could do like a... 5 by 3 setup. And then I could do another, like, 4 tile wide setup for the actual power. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. In fact, maybe we do that 
sooner rather than later. Um, plates first, though. So we're kind of have these going out to a little manifold system coming in. What if I did... Oops, not that. Storage container. Put that there for now. I'd like to do... A merger. There's that. Yeah, I can't quite do that from here. Um, so we'll merge the plates into that. And I think I'll put a manifold system over here. But I won't need as many constructors. I think I'll only need two. <clears throat> uh, if I had those there, I could put this like so. Although I'm going to be hemmed in because of the other buildings that are there. Let me just get down there. I can't do this from up here. Oh, that might have been a... Ow. That's alright. What's a broken leg? Okay, so we've already smelted it. We just need to turn it into something. And the way to go about that is with these. I've kind of combined them and I'm splitting them back apart for no reason, but eh, oh well. There we go. Everything is open for optimization. You're going to make plates. You're going to make plates. Cool. Uh, you need power. Where will I connect you? There we go. need a merger. Trying to see if I can, like, split the difference there. I like to line things up on the grid as much as I possibly can. So, yeah, we got four times the throughput of our iron rods, which... Oh, yeah, it looks like it's actually caught up. Cool. And twice the production of our iron plates. Good. So yeah, I think next step is going to be 
moving this up there. Let's get on it. critters up here? I don't see any. Although I swear I hear something. Get rid of these. Oh, these are pure? Oh, whoa. That's gonna be... Oh, <laughs> impure. Okay. So the actual... Uh, the rocks on top were pure, but those are impure. I'm going to ignore the fact that my power grid died. Am I? Well. Mm, yeah, for just a second, I will. We're going to go over here. We're going to fire up our chainsaw. And let's see if we can clear out some brush. I think they gave this a new sound. Sounds a lot better. I got a few more leaves over here. Don't mind me, just deforesting the world. Yeah, let's see what else we can grab. Let's get some of these rocks, too. Oh, I never grabbed that earlier. I thought I got him. Oh. Um. Sorry, buddy. I took your tree. Guess it's a good thing I'm getting you. What was that? I swear I hear something down there. Is there a... Can you hear that ambient sound? This is what I was talking about in the last episode. I swear there's something down there. Alright, ignoring the creepy crawly sound... The skittering. Uh, get some over here. Okay. Time to place some foundations. So what's the high point? Oh, hey, guess what? I didn't build on the grid. Okay, let's get that. There's... You can displace individual grids, but this is the actual world grid now. Which is in line with everything else I'm building, correct? Snap to guidelines. Yeah, that's the world grid. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
what is that? One, two, three, four, five tiles wide. Let's let's give myself another tile on each side, and maybe another two on this side. Oh, or not? Just kidding. All right, so I want to put. I think I want you right here. Put you there. You there. On second thought, let's move this a little bit further. We'll do the constructors first. Damn it, I need iron plates. Um, you know what? Before I move. Haha! -ha! I can go ahead and make it right here. So I'm gonna need another four reinforced iron plates. Uh, make that six, because I'm gonna need a third constructor. God, I hate that sound. Okay, those two are running that way. Let's get storage box here. We're going to get a merger. So you are going to be, let's make this one wood and this one leaves. They'll go to this and right about here. Oh, for real, I don't have, okay, hang on. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna line it up with these. One, two. You are gonna make solid biofuel. Gonna make 120 per minute. Holy crap. Oh, you're gonna use 120 biomass per minute. Wow. Okay. How much can you make? 60 per minute? 300 per minute? Oh, I can make a lot of biomass really quick. <clears throat> okay. And we're gonna grab you and put you right there. So when we walk up, we can put all of our stuff in here to then be turned into biomass. Oh, it would help if I actually added the belts. Bear belt, bear belt. And it'll all feed into here, where it will then be routed through to this constructor and over. Um, and then afterwards, let's see here. Okay. So they'll all have the power that they need. 
I'm going to need concrete, though. So let's go grab... <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. I just realized we might not have enough power... We might not have enough concrete made because of that. Uh, the power going out. I'll throw the wood there. Throw the leaves there. Oops. Let's see what concrete we do have. Sixty-one, not bad. So, did my power grid die because of overproduction? Like, what was the? Ah, there's the problem. Okay, let's head over here. Yeah, I got a little bit. Pull you. We'll put some biofuel there. Let's give you a little biomass to work with. We'll let you burn off the last little bit that you got. Um, you have nothing, so we can dismantle you. You have nothing, we can dismantle you. And you've got little bits and pieces. You've got little bits and pieces, so we can get rid of both of those. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna... Commit completely to our new system. Sweet! And that means that we can get rid of the excess power poles, power lines, all that stuff. I'm gonna get rid of you because I'm planning on doing something different. Run over here for just a second. We're going to give these some biofuel to start. Cool. And now we just need to head back up. I'm going to need to add like a little ramp here to make things easier. In fact, you know what? Why not? That works. Might not be there forever, but it's a great stopgap measure for the meantime. Now, I want to add a few more platforms here. What I'm thinking about doing is we'll grab power biomass burner. Where's the power line? Oh, it's on the outside. Hmm. It's on that corner. You know what? No, I'm going to do this. Are you kidding? I don't have wire. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wee. Well, at least this system's still running since I made it its own independent system. Eventually, we are going to connect all of this up, but we don't need it just a second. Um. How much cable do I have over here? I'll take that, thank you. This right here is going to end up being a nice big upgrade. Yep, 
It won't keep us going forever, but it'll keep us going for now. Hit the right button. There we go. Um, do I have... Oh, no, I don't. put regular biomass in there for now. Perfect. You need more wood. You need more leaves. But the system... It's working! Oops. There it goes. So, any second now, we should start seeing. How much does it need? Eight? Ten? There it goes. We're getting the first bits of solid biomass. Yeah, it's eight to four. So, we need a belt running twice as fast. So, Mark II belt would actually do a lot. Oh, we actually had biofuel the whole time. Well, now that we've got this system started... Time to feed it. to clear this plateau. I think we can head down the hill a little ways. Ooh, it's getting dark again. Time to chop down some trees in the dark. Osho would approve. I mean, obviously, everything Fixit employees do is completely OSHA approved. I think it happens automatically. Uh, do we have any more down here? What do we got? Any greenery I can take down? Oh yeah, we got some over here. Got some more over here. Whoa! Got the... Good grief. Alright. Oh, not cool. I thought he was ahead of me, not to my side. up the containers with everything we need biofuel wise I'm hoping that we fill it once and it'll be enough to get us all the way to coal fuel I'd like to keep the whole system fed for a little while
All right, I think I've got everything down here. Let's head up there, go ahead and grab that power slug. And we can chop up some stuff up here. These are just leaves. I can go ahead and pick them up. Don't mind at all. Ah, here we go. Obviously, we prefer wood. It's the more efficient system. Makes a whole lot more biomass. Ooh, what do we have here? Is that... Caterium! Oh, not enough space. Oh, hi there. Alright, buddy. You wanna go? You are one ugly son of a... Alright. We are pretty full up, so I think it's time to go ahead and start dropping some stuff off. We could connect this system to the main base now. Make sure our base is running again. And I think after that, it'd be a good time to start automating screws. We've got cable going. Ugh, I hear the creepy crawlies. I swear, there's got to be a tunnel down there. I'm gonna have to explore that at some point. Which I say with quite a bit of reluctance. Start shifting over to solid biofuel. There, cool. Yeah, we're just gonna let that run for a bit. Let's see how far we need to stretch this. Um, what's a good spot? That works. What the? Hey, hey, hey! And the base is online. All right. Head over to our ramp. Okay, so next thing we need is screws automated. Um, actually, the next thing I need to do to so go over here and throw as many goods as I can in for our next milestone. So let's do that now. Oh, almost everything we need. Uh, if I grab plates, take that. Cool. Uh, we could also... Let's run over to these smelters. Uh, no, not smelters. I need to run to these machines? Oh, they're full. Oh, wow. Let's go to the very end. You've got room. You've got room. You've got some room. Yikes, I'm running out of spaces to throw all these iron ingots that I have. What about the machines that are over here? Hey, there we go. Okay. Got rid of a lot of excess garbage. Um, we've got iron ore as well. Throw that in there. So, let's see. This is plates. This is rods. Let's automate... Well, first things first, let's actually take a look at the recipe. 
One rod becomes four screws, and it's ten per minute. But that makes 40 screws per minute, so we could really only have two of these, and even that is going to be too much. What I'm going to do is actually put this like so. Uh, I'm going to put, let's see. How about a splitter? Is that right? No, I put that in the wrong spot. That's better. That there, that there. Bring you over. Screw it. I'll just put it right in there. And you're going to be screws. Copy, paste. Cool. Uh, we're going to need power here. That's hooked up. Cool. Let's get a merger here. Uh, again, I need to make sure I'm lined up. Yep. And let's put a container here. That'll work. Oh, sure. Look at all those screws. Fantastic. All right, so having automated screw production will definitely help. That's going to be 60 per minute which means to get 500 screws, we would need about five minutes worth of time for that to happen. Um, we are coming to the end of the episode, though. We're coming up on an hour. So what I might do is go ahead and call this one here. If you have enjoyed this, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I always like interacting with you guys in the comments. It's always a blast. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode where I think we're going to get our part assembly done and keep expanding the factory a little bit more. See you next time. Bye-bye.